Hi everyone, welcome to the Positively Knitting Podcast. My name is Nicole and I am so happy to finally have some time to sit down and put my feet up and talk to you guys about the things that I have been knitting, crocheting, and about a couple of the things that have happened to uh, myself and my family. So, okay, in the last couple of weeks I have gotten blipped. My boys went to their first night party and my husband lost his job as a direct result of politics and lies. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the first things first. Let's talk about me getting blipped, okay? Well, it's not like I'm the first podcaster to get blipped. There were there was a first wave of blipping. And basically, when I say blip, it's um, when I got blip or blipping, it's blip carries um, the feed. Well, okay, we upload, a lot of podcasters upload their podcast to Blip, who in turn, who in turn um, generates a fee and sends it to iTunes. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but that's pretty much what it does. I upload it to Blip, Blip sends it to iTunes, and that's how those of you who are able to watch me on iTunes can watch me on iTunes. You can also use Blip to upload to your, um, to your blog. Yeah, to your blog too, or and and that's just it, right? And a lot of us in the beginning, when I was recording from my computer upstairs in the loft, I would just upload to Blip, and then I would upload to my blog separately. I didn't know that you could do everything at one time, but then I got hip <laughs> and realized that I could just upload to one place and then take the Blip feed and put it onto the blog. So yeah. That will no longer be happening. That just stopped. I can't. That stopped a couple of weeks ago. And we, well, I was giving, well, we as in all the podcasters, it's not just my podcast. This There was a first wave of podcaster, and it sucked because it was a lot of the podcasts that I watch. And now the second wave is a lot of podcasts that I watch, including myself. But, um, <sighs> yeah, it happened to us. And we were giving, a lot of the podcasters were, all, were giving where we all were giving. I'm not even making any sense. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. It's been a week. Okay, it's been a week. A couple of weeks. Um, but when they get, sent you out the, the letter to let you know that you were being blipped and you were no longer able to upload podcasts anymore, and they also let you know that all the feed for your prior podcast would be would not be available anymore. So that means for me, as of November the 2nd or November the 7th, um, the podcast that I did not manually upload from my computer upstairs, um, they won't be accessible on my blog and not through iTunes anymore. And um, what also, that also, they also said that uh, they, they would give us until that time to save any and all our podcasts and... Um, so we can move them to another side and you know and use them. So first of all, if you follow me on Instagram, you knew the instant that this happened because I posted the letter. <laughs> I posted the letter because I'm all about the sharing. Okay, I posted the letter on to Instagram. So and I, and my husband and I were talking and we were going back and forth about you know saving the old podcast and I talked to a couple of friends and you know first and and there is no I don't know. You guys, I don't know that I am emotionally connected to my prior episodes to go um, and try to create space on my old Dell computer upstairs <laughs> and, you know, save it and move everything over to YouTube, which is where you can find the uh, podcast now. So basically the good thing about YouTube is that it's free and that and then I can take the YouTube feeds and upload them to my blog. So the podcast can now be found on the blog and on on YouTube, and that's completely, completely um, fine with me. I just don't know about back episodes, and I was thinking about it. And the good thing about not uploading my back episodes is that, like, I can, like, I got a whole, I can wear everything that I wore the first fifty episodes again. So it's like having a new wardrobe to podcast in. <laughs> so yeah, 
that's what that's what's happened. So uh, if you guys, I said this before in the first round of um, when people got blipped. If you guys have episodes that you are used to watch episodes, podcasts that you are used to watching on iTunes and you can't find them anymore, it's a good chance that they got blipped. And you should check their blogs. And if you're a member of Ravelry and the Ravelry groups, check the Ravelry groups. I know that a lot of podcasters that have YouTube channels are uploading their podcasts directly into uh, the Ravelry groups because you can do that uh, thanks to YouTube. So, yeah. And as far as, um, you know, moving to like WordPress where I can get a feed to put up, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Right now, it is not the time for me to make any kind of commitment because I really do need to concentrate on the last two of the things that I shared with. Well, one of them happened. Um, my, uh, I am such a mom. Like, I am like, a mom. Like, right? So my boys wanted to go to their first night party, and uh, I let them. If you follow me on Instagram again, you, okay, if you don't follow me and you really want to know what's going on, more often than not, I'm going to post something on Instagram. And I also love seeing everyone's pictures, especially the pictures from Ryan Beck, you guys. Oh, my God. Uh, and the funny thing is, is that I was supposed to go to Ryan Beck, and because of family, I couldn't go. And it's this, all of this, all of this, you know, no job, well, my husband losing his job, and all this stuff happened during the week of Ryan Beck. So everything happens for a reason. I am a strong believer, and everything happens for a reason. So yeah, so my boys went to their first um, night party, and it was fun. <laughs> I mean, for them, they were excited. I was excited and apprehensive because I'm I'm that kind of mother but I did dress them and make them style I styled my kids I did style I don't care I don't care it's not like they watch <laughs> you know they did not go to the party and say that my mom dressed me so yeah <laughs> and they had they had enough fun I guess it was it was I talked to both of them and they seemed to both enjoy themselves and yeah, it was an experience. My kids are growing up, and oh, I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's good because, you know, good, but, okay. So the third thing, well, and the most important thing to impact this family is the fact that my husband was fired from his job over um, just ridiculous mess and drama. And honestly... To, I mean, without going into details, you guys, he is a pawn in between. He's a pawn and a casualty of war in, be, in a war between two really rich people. So, yeah. And we, we were going through a whole mix of emotions. And my husband basically said it the correct way. He knows that he did his best. He gave that job his best. He was a stellar employee. He never got a write-up. He, you know, came in when he was supposed to come in. And he did what was asked of him always. And you know what? He did over and beyond his job, as a matter of fact. He, because he's good at what he does. And he's passionate about what he does. So, And, and you guys, you know, he is my husband. But I can honestly say that it, in Southern California, my husband is the best aerial photojournalist out there. And I think that's because of his passion for news. And it really was disheartening for people to um, lie. I mean, it's bad enough that you, you know... You know, we have this thing about you know, snitches in the hood, but there's nothing, and you know, there is a time to snitch, honestly. I even tell my boys, there is a time to snitch. But when you think you're snitching and you got wrong information, then you're a liar, you know. And what's really horrible is that uh, one of these people um, goes around and, you know, it's like he puts it out there that he's a Christian, Christian, Christian. And I am a Christian, too. And um, I just don't want people, and it is my prayer, you know, and it is in my earnest thought and it's concern that, you know, a lot of people will see him and think, well, is this what being a Christian is about? And honestly, it's not. And my husband is a stellar example of a Christian. And the peace and um, the way, the, way, the grace that he's accepting this is just really, he's, he's being a great example not only to me, but also to my children, which is why I married him. So, yeah, yeah, he is the breadwinner in this house, and we are, um, we are apprehensive. This is a scary time for us. But we are also hopeful because we believe that God doesn't close the door without opening a window. So, yeah.
Yeah, that's what's happened. And I was debating on whether or not to share this with you guys. <laughs> but I know that, you know, we, because we're not the only people to struggle. You know, I'm not the only person with problems. And I'm sure that a lot of people that everybody has their, you know, they go through their stuff. And sometimes you need to hear that, you know, you're not going through stuff by yourself. So, um, this is our stuff. And I also just hope that people are encouraged to because I'm going to share my struggles. You know, I won't be able to buy yarn. It's a good thing I didn't go to Stitches. So, and that saved us, a, not Stitches, uh, Ryan Beck. That saved the, the family a lot of money, which we need now. Because we, we just don't know what's going to happen. But it is going to be, this is going to be a test really a test for me of like knitting from your stash because there's no way I'm buying yarn and you know things are happening to the family so yeah so and I think out of everything um the positive thought would come out just from my husband whatever you do give it your best be be the best at it because if something happens you'll be able to walk away from that relationship from that job you know and saying you know I gave my best to that person I did right by that person I did right by this employer and you can leave feeling good about that okay okay so yeah so now let's talk about knitting and crochet <laughs> okay so um, I don't know oh let's start right here Hi, ah, you guys see this this is the blanket that I knitted or knitted. Well, there, there is no there. Oh yeah, there is a knitted paddle. Well, this is the blanket that I made as part of the Santorini swap in the Vanna's Choice fan club group on, yeah, Vanna's Choice Vanna's Choice fan club group on Ravelry. That is a mouthful, especially when you got like a mouthful of teeth like me. Jesus. Okay. So, <laughs> um, we started this. When did we start? In September? October? No? August? When did the swap? It's been over. Okay. The swap ran for about three months and we each had to make 16 squares to mail out, right? I made an additional four. One, two. Well, I made five additional squares. I'm using my um, Afghan. Uh, well, I joined my school. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> because my mind is jumping all over the place. I'm thinking... How many did I make? What am I going to use this for? So, okay. I am making, I made this um, afghan to go in Jason's room. This is a lot of the colors that are in my, I call it my second son, Jason's room. So that's why I, I joined the swap. I thought it was a, whoo, it's a way to get squares and get an afghan together and not get burned out on making 20 some odd different um, making like knitting and crocheting 20 something different motifs or just get burned out on knitting or crocheting one thing. Now, there were a bunch of different um, squares and I had no idea how I was going to join them but what I have been seeing a lot of shared afghans in the group and they had this granny square kind of border around them and I cannot I was like where did they get this border I like I this is border. I fell in love with this border because I thought it was easy and I also thought it was cute and I am a sucker for a granny square so I was like this will totally incorporate my love for a granny square in the blanket right so I looked around and I really couldn't find a pattern for it so what I did was I enlarged a picture of an afghan that had this and I just saw what they did now after that I shared what I did in the group in um, the Santorini swap group and the moder moderator sent me a message and she was like before I told her what I was planning on doing and I had dated she said share a picture I shared a picture and she says that's oh my god because I figured it out but she also gave me a link to a raveler who has a, tu a tutorial that you can download for free on how to do this. So I will link to this 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 kind of border. So I will link to this in the show notes. Now let me show you guys um, share with you the squares that I made. I I crochet this square for, and which one? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh gosh, it's pretty big too. Is I I crochet this one. And then, oh, and I crocheted this one right here. Can, yeah, you guys, I did this. I crocheted this. Now, this square, 
I got out of a ebook that I downloaded, and the ebook is oh God. I will link to. I can't remember the name of it because I got three of this um, author's book. It is an ebook by an author named Edie Ackman. The things you find out when you talk to people, like in the groups, okay? Somebody will talk, or when you read threads, because somebody had mentioned in the group that um, she made a square and she's using uh, Edie Ackman's such and such number motif. Like motif number 100. And she linked to Edie Ekman in the Ravelry group. And I clicked the link and you guys, it was love at first click. Because Edie Ekman has some of the best crochet motifs. As a matter of fact, I, um, um, Craftsy was having a crazy, crazy, crazy sale, right? Because they always have these splash sales and stuff and sales that go on for, goes on for weeks. So I purchased a class on um, connecting crochet motifs taught by Edie Ekman for $15.99. So that was, that was the class on sale, right? So yeah, I purchased her class for $15.99 on Craftsy and I went to Barnes & Noble's and looked for her book. I reserved the book. I did reserve the book. And the book was like 20 bucks. Let's just round it up, right? So when I went there and to look for it, it was nice. But I could get the book on my iPad for $9.99. As a matter of fact, most of her books I can get on the iPad for $9.99. And I think that was even cheaper than buying used from Barnes, including shipping. So that's what I did. So every in the last couple of weeks, every week... When I got a little extra money in, I went and bought a book. So I did choose to invest instead of yarn or, you know, hair. <laughs> I invested in uh, my crochet. And, oh, you guys, some of her motifs are great. Her class on Craftsy is excellent. She's not boring at all. So, yeah. I, I, I it was, every, it's totally worth the money. And I'm so glad that I purchased everything that I could when I could because now I can't purchase anything so yeah so uh, one of the things about this afghan is that I got a couple of squares that are similar if not the same exact square so this square is a southwestern square this square is a southwestern square so I got two of those and these two right here there there's one that's called cat's eye and there's one that's called kitten's claw okay so yeah, I got two of those, and oh, and here's another one down here. So I got three. I got three of the same squares. That is the risk that you run when you join a swap. I was like, and and you know, if you're if you're not happy, <laughs> being angry about it is useless. You know, and there are a lot of times when people do post about the squares that they're getting for the swaps or they're making for the swaps, but it is you know you you join at your own risk. And I, it just, it's not in my nature to be angry about the stuff. I was like, but I was like, really, really? But I just decided to join them to make, you know, link them together, to join them in the Afghan together so it can look like it was supposed to be that way. Uh, the reason I use it, this color is cranberry. Cran, the, the reddish color is cranberry. And the reason I chose to use cranberry is because I thought that it would make the other colors pop and it would, um, yeah, basically to make the other colors pop. The other colors that are uh, in this afghan are linen, which is, you can really see right here in this square. So, it's this is linen. There is silver gray, little boy blue, and the dark blue is sapphire, and then there's also white. And it's ridiculous that I know the names of these yarns because that's how long that I knitted <laughs> and crocheted with them. And knitted, the knitted one in here, uh, of course, is made by me. Of course, because nobody's sending me a knitted square. <laughs> no. But I did make it. And um, this was supposed to go out to one of the swap swappies. But I thought it was a little too big to send out. So I kept it for myself. And this is just the granny's favorite dishcloth pattern. That's it. With a crochet edging. To make me to make it easier for me to pick up and crochet around. So yeah. You can do a blanket like this in just granny squares. You could there's a pattern out there for solid granny squares that will look great. So I'm very happy with uh with the swap overall. My experience was really good. Everyone was very nice. I learned so 
so much being in the squad. People were very encouraging. The one thing that I did not like is that as of today, um, which is the 20th of October, <laughs> I have not received my last square. And my squares were sent out within the first month of the swap. Just because I was crazy anal like that. But in the swap, you were supposed to mail out your last square by the first. The person who mailed out her squares late to myself and another uh, freshman, um, she mailed it out on October the 7th. And I still haven't gotten my square. Now, the, um, the other freshman, she received hers on um, her square on the 18th. So hopefully my square will be coming soon. Because if not, I'm just going to, I'm ready for this blanket to be over with. I'm ready for, I'm ready to, you know, crochet, sewing, weaving the edges, and that's it. I'm just ready for it to be over with. So I'll give it one more day, and if not, then I'm just, we, I'm just going, <laughs> want to go make my own. But overall, I love it. The blanket is, you guys, I laid it out. It's very impressive. It's so cute, and the thought behind it is like, you know, it's just good. It's good. Everyone else's blankets. Oh, my God. People are doing different edging borders. There's one for, I think, I can't remember what's good. It was the Florida Gators. She's making one to go to the Florida Gators. And she wanted mostly sapphires in hers. And she outlined it in different color oranges. And if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for the color orange. <laughs> so that blanket is beautiful. She's going to use it to auction off. You got, okay, you guys, my hair. The gray, the gray, the gray does not want to lay down. Let me see. <laughs> but it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Like, ah. Uh, so everyone's blankets are beautiful, and, and I'm happy. I'm just ready for it to be done. Now, knitting. Okay, knitting. Yes, yes, knitting has happened. Okay. Normally, when I get crazy stressed out, I tend not to knit. But for some reason lately, knitting has been really making me feel good. <laughs> I mean, it always makes me feel good, but right now, it, it just makes me super duper duper happy. So, what have I been knitting? I'll show you. As a matter of fact, I have a finished object. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, man. Yep, yeah, I have to show you guys next episode. I can't remember where. Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> it's right in front of me. Okay. Um, senior moment. <laughs> so, I can't remember the name of this hat because uh, it's it's been that you guys know. I just can't. But I will link to it in the show note. But I did start it a couple of weeks ago and I did finish it. And this is just a, com a community hat, right? It's just a regular hat. And I, and, um, nothing special. The pattern is free, available for download on the Ravelry. And I finished it. The yarn. The yarn is gorgeous. Lowest of knitties, my bag. Purchased this yarn for me from when we went on our yarn crawl, and this yarn came from Twist Yarns of Intrigue. It is her worsted base, and this is super duper duper squishy. The colors in it are just gorgeous. I love grays. I I am partial to grays. Grays. I need to make me something with gray and orange in it, and I'd be very happy. <laughs> So yeah, I finished this hat and it's going in the community box. Then I picked up and started another hat because I have a lot of heads here. <laughs> okay. So the um the second hat that I started is the Modern Rib Hat by Susan B. Anderson. Yes, Susan B. Anderson of Itty Bitty Everything and you know uh what is the toy called Reversible Toys. Susan B. Anderson of her wonderful blog. Susan B. Anderson, who I am like number one fangirl crazy about. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm making the modern real... Oops. Kids. The modern rib hat by Susan B. Anderson. And I finished this one this morning. Okay, this hat um, is super, um, super easy. Yes. Because, number one, well, let me tell you, to make this hat, you need to know how to cast on and to knit in the round, okay? Knit in the round. I did this one with one long circular needle, but I'm also making another one on a size 7, just um, shorter, I think it's like a 24-inch circular needle. So, it could be done either way. They both look good, right? 
and um, so you you need to know how to knit in the round. This was one. This is what the I think it was the second project that I knitted in the round. The first thing that I ever made was a pair, a free pair that's available on the Spud and Chloe blog. As is this pattern right here, free, free. Okay, that was the first pattern that I made on DPNs. This hat was well. This is the second time that I made this hat. The first hat I made with Nick was. Two years ago, when Nick was in elementary school, and I gave it to him to go, and he never came back. <laughs> I even went and looked in the lost and found, and that hat was not, if it was found, it wasn't reported. <laughs> and I never saw it again, so I never made Nick, well, till now, right? I never made Nick another hat, till, well, another one of these until now. Because, and I accomplished it because it was indeed easy, easy, easy for a new-ish a new-ish knitter but you need to know how to knit to purl and you're going to decrease which is knit two together or purl two together which is exactly what it says to do right so and the beautiful thing about this hat to me is that it is a two by one rib that means you knit two and you purl one so I like that because I, I don't care for one by one ribbing. I don't I don't like to do it. I don't like to do it at all. Or the, a two by two is good, but this two by one works for me, especially when I'm knitting continental. And that's when you knit if you knit holding the yarn in your left hand. So it all works for me. This yarn is uh, squishy. This is all Venice Choice yarn. I have a lot of Venice Choice yarn because I may have joined another two swaps, but only as a lurker, which means I'm I'm knitting and crocheting along with the swap colors and you know the number of squares that they're supposed to have in the swap, but I am not sending them out. They're just for me. One of the swaps that I'm knitting knitting and crocheting along with is called the Mary Grinchmas swap, and the other one is called Morning Walk. So Mary Grinchmas, the colors come from uh the what is it Mr. Grinch not Mr. Grinch. how the Grinch stole Christmas how the Grinch stole Christmas um, movie so they pull colors from there so I have some of those colors and then the morning walk color are the colors out of a picture from a morning walk so I have Vanish Choice everywhere so I'm going to use what I have right so um, the, I can tell you the colors that's how bad of course there's black this red is scarlet. This golden color is called honey. This green is a Kelly green. This was, this hat, the colors from this hat came from a kind of Rastafari sock that um, Jason has. He was saying how much he loved his socks. And then when we went to Zoomies, he showed me a knitted hat that had the same colors as his sock. And I'm like, I'm not buying it. I can make you one in those same colors. But what I don't have is a bright yellow, which I'm never going to have because <laughs> yeah, it's just not me. So, But I do have a golden color, and I love the way it looks. This hat is very popular with the men in my family. There is a fight going on right now about who's going to have this hat. Now, what I did too, just the, um, because you change colors, if you notice at the top, you can see where I purled in a different color when I started the first row of the black and I purled. You can totally see that um, the black through the green. I don't like that. And I, years ago, I found a tip about how to prevent that. And it's to, when, you, it's, when you're doing ribbing, and this will work with socks or, a, you know, like a, a sleeve for a sweater or a cuff for a sweater or anything, right? So when you're doing um, ribbing and you want to add a, a different color, make sure that you just knit straight across the first round. It doesn't matter if you have knits and pearls and knits and pearls because then you won't be able to see any crazy color pearl bumps. And it doesn't make a difference. It really does not interrupt your 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 ribbing. Isn't that great? Yeah. This hair, you guys. Oh, oh, this. <laughs> I sounded like somebody right then. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Now, the second hat I cast on and I was knitting these. Oh, simul oh let me show you guys the inside because the more you change colors, the more ends you have to weave in. So I, I'm going to put on a movie later on today and sit down and weave in my ends. But, oh, it's super cute. 
It is super cute. I, I, just, I was going to say I love it, but can't be mine. I can make me another one because I have enough. Even though I have been making things from my Vanish Choice yarn, um, squares and stuff, and I still have enough yarn to make an, another hat. And that's because you just use minuscule amounts. This would be a good, if you have worsted weight yarn, this would be a very good stash buster. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Vanish Choice yarn is, um, it's, 100% acrylic. So yeah. So my I can wash this. The boys can get crazy with it. And they, they better not lose it. I, oh my gosh. If they lose this hat. There won't be another one. I do have I do have another um, order place for a hat by Jason's five-year-old brother Dylan. And he wants uh, rainbow colors. Because he, he's just starting school and they're learning about the rainbow. So he wants rainbow colors. So I have to at least make one more hat. And I'm thinking about doing a hat in like pinks and grays and kind of girly colors for myself but I don't know I might be burnt out after this actually I don't I don't think I'm going to be burnt out now these colors in this hat are just some of the colors that I happen to like and I really didn't want the hats to look too similar but they're also a lot of the colors that my boys tend to wear and uh, and of their jackets so in the winter time they can wear their black jackets with a with you know this hat and their gray jackets with this hat and then there's also a little white in it oh so the colors in this are this is not even white i think this is like a cream color i can't remember what this is a new color to me i just bought it but the colors in this hat are silver gray and gray silver gray light gray and this color is brick right here i love this color you guys this color is brick I love it. I love. It. Oh, and the Kelly green again. And I think this is this is the cream color. Now there's a color a Vanish Choice out there that's called Lamb. I don't. It's not that color. <laughs> this is not that color. But Vanish Choice yarn, if you catch it on sale, it they it could go on sale for two ninety nine. It could be found for three ninety nine. But if you have a Joann's near you and you have a coupon, you can, you have a forty percent off coupon. We have a 50% off coupon. You can knock a lot of these. You can buy a couple of skeins of yarn. You can get a hat's worth of yarn depending on how many colors you want to use. And knock them out um, in, no and in no time. You can make at least two, three hats for like 12 bucks if you buy four different colors. And that's what coupons at Joann's are. So I think that's, that's a good deal. These hats, I mean, they cost a couple of bucks maybe. And I, it's a very good deal for me. So, you yeah, know, so that's what I've been knitting. Yay! And that's it, you guys. That is all that I have. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys um, don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I'll follow you back because that's what we do. Um, I am Hot As Knitter on Instagram. And I'm also Hot As Knitter, Hot A-Z-Z -Z Knitter on Ravelry. I would just like to take a moment right now to thank Mo. For her kindness and to thank everyone who's been encouraging about all the stuff that I've been going through. I would also want to mention and remind, well, mention to you guys that Knitting to My Bags, Lois, is having, gearing up for her Christmas bags and more. Bam. Bag and more. Bam kit, right? And this one is going to be super duper cute. She has a, a sneak peek kind of of what you can expect if you want to um, get it and and just in case you might have possibly missed the Halloween BAM, I heard that there are like one or two still available. So, and it's it's the one with like the really multi, the 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 beautiful green and purple yarn dyed by lollipop yarn in the bag is so cute, you guys. Anyways, okay, that's it. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will be back next week because everything is starting to cool down here. And I promise you guys I'll be back next week. Well, where I'll be um, on next week's show, I'll, I plan on sitting in front of the Halloween tree. Because that's just how I roll. Okay? So I hope you guys have a wonderful week of knitting, crochet, sewing, whatever makes your heart happy. And I hope that you guys will join me back here somewhere in my house where I'll be positively knitting. Bye.